The following contains clips from a B2B Interviews exclusive interview. To access all of our interviews, as well as our terms, policies, and 17B disclosures, visit b2binterviews.com and follow us on social for alerts and updates on new interviews as they go live. Our guest today is Dr. Stephen Quay, Chief Executive Officer at Atosa Therapeutics. Atosa Therapeutics, based in Seattle, is a clinical stage oncology and infectious disease company. So we have phase two programs in breast cancer primarily uh, and in COVID therapeutics. In breast cancer, we are focused on a new chemical entity. It's called endoxifen. It's the active ingredient of one of the very first cancer drugs, tamoxifen. We've developed a very strong patent IP position around endoxifen, and we're using it in a number of very interesting indications, both in breast cancer and ovarian cancer. It's a small molecule. It acts by both blocking the estrogen receptor, stopping the cells from growing. It may actually kill cancer cells, which is a little bit unusual. The company has uh, dozens of patents and patent applications uh, in the area of uh, breast cancer and doxifen. We believe we have a strong portfolio. One of my focuses is to de-risk our programs for our investors by focusing on a drug that is metabolized in the body. So the risk profile is very low. We know what to look for in terms of side effects. I think having a de-risk program. Uh, the other is, is your balance sheet. I mean, you can have the best ideas in the world, but if you run out of money, you run out of money. So we now have uh, well over a hundred million dollars on our balance sheet through financings uh, over the last six months. Uh, you know, if you don't have people who are experienced, they can take the best program and have a, an execution risk and not get it done. So we've got the team in place that we need. We've got the drug in place that we need. And we have the financial balance sheet to allow us to execute with over a hundred million dollars. So investors can be assured that we will not be needing to raise money in the near term. I think the team, the drug, and the balance sheet are the trifecta of what makes a good investment. To access the full interview, visit b2binterviews.com.